and down. I got introduced to dance through my cousins who used to dance here. They no longer attend here. But my mom also used to be a dancer in the refugee camps. So I guess part of me has like an kind of origins from that. I think over the years, my perception of dance has changed. It's more or less become kind of like an identity. Cambodians are often known as for like the Khmer Rouge and Angkor Wat, but there's more to us than that. Um, this place is a community space, definitely a safe space for you to come kind of discover who you are um, as a Cambodian American. I didn't really know much about culture, ethnicity, or everything. When I started dancing here, I actually learned so much because my parents never talked about the history of why they came here or anything. Like, I was so oblivious to it. And I remember I had one assignment where I had to ask, like, why did my parents come here? They didn't really explain it. They just said, Khmer Rouge, that's it. And I'm like, that is so for here we actually learned a lot like my instructors they actually taught us and of course it was really eye-opening and that's where I started like valuing dance more you know we're here because of the surviving 10% um, there has been like a couple periods in time where we almost lost our arts and the most recent was during the genocide. My teacher was among the first graduating class of the um, School of Fine Arts so um, and she opened this school and um, I just want to keep it going for her. So we're always evolving here and hopefully we'll keep doing that.